when you stimulate patients for an IVF cycle, one of the best way to look at the eggs developing is they're kind of like people in a parade. And you'd like to get all the people lined up side to side, abreast of each other, walking down the street. So they all reach the corner at the same time, and the corner is sort of when we retrieve the eggs. In stimulation, the goal is how do you get most of those follicles to develop to that point where they're all together without the leading one ovulating? And there are two ways of doing that. If you do it with an agonist or Lupron, the medication is usually begun before the menstrual cycle begins or sometimes with the beginning of the menstrual cycle and use of fertility drugs. But most commonly in the second half of the luteal phase of the prior cycle or if a birth control pill combined with the pill. And after seven to 10 days of being on the Lupron, the pituitary is shut down as far as its ability to, to respond to the endogenous estrogen level and secrete LH. The antagonist, which is using medications called cetratide or Ganarelex, depending on which pharmaceutical company you prefer, but they're both the same, does it instantly. So that rather than having to take the medication and deplete the receptors over seven days, it actually just blocks the receptor so that it can't appreciate the, the information it's getting, so it doesn't know to send out the LH surge. So it works instantaneously. We're treating them medically, electively, and you want to do that in a safe manner. And so it, it's real important to avoid hyperstimulation syndrome. And you can do that by using lower doses of medication, producing less of a response. Uh, we don't purposely overstimulate patients, but if they do over-respond, rather than canceling them, there are ways to try and prevent hyperstimulation from occurring.